Do you know that everything you want is in you? Whatever thing you want to become is inside you. It is not outside. It is not in Jericho. It is not in the United States. It is not in Austria. It is in you. Whoever you want to become is in you. It's not with your rich uncle. It's not with your rich auntie. It's not like to tell yourself, um, the politician outside there. It's not with the richest man in your city. It's not with the richest woman in your city. Whatever you want to become, whatever you want is in you. But sometimes we don't know that whatever we want is with us. All we need is just to pay attention and build ourselves. Whatever you want is in you. Maybe you're that good speaker, you don't even know you're a good speaker. Maybe you're that one who can sing, you don't know you can sing. Maybe you're that one that can write the one book and it takes you somewhere you don't even believe. Maybe you're that one that you need to bring out that song, you don't even know. Maybe you have that gift to even like to make cake. You have that gift to breed. You have that gift to craft whatever thing. You have those that business idea that is in you. Sometimes we don't need too much money. When you have that idea, sometimes when you start with little, let me say even fifty dollar, um, like even Cameroon, let me say you start with ten thousand. That little, you have that big dream. As you keep going, there you keep seeing it manifesting. You keep seeing God having you favor. You seek see God bless you. So whatever we want is in inside us. We have it inside us. Somebody like me, for example, I didn't know I could write a book. I didn't know I could sing. I didn't know I could be a public speaker like this. I didn't know I could be an orator because I had so much challenges. I have a physically, um, I'm a physically challenged. Um, they call us scoliosis all my life. When I start knowing myself, just like a big when you start realizing it, I start realizing that I have a disability. I will say it in, we I start reason, as an, you know, as an. As a grown up, I was in twelve years old. But I was in form three. I was in middle school. I start realize that I was different from everyone. Something was wrong with me, because um my peers in school would tell me something's wrong with you. They would give me insult when I go home and tell my mom. Although she, my mom would deny that. I don't mind them. They don't know what they are saying. See, when I become an adult, that's when she will encourage me. But in the beginning, um, as a, a teenager, she would not even accept that. Habit. That was her own way, I guess, to heal me out of it. And my pain made me better. And it was so much that I was not being accepted. I was just alone. But there was something. I used to love how to read. I used to love to read books. And in those books, I knew in my mind I would become better. I'll be, I know I'll become an important personality, that one I know. I'll become somebody great, let me say great. I'll become a great person. Great people are not famous people. Great people are different from famous people. Great people are people that want to see others get better, no matter the consequences. So they want to see others better, sometimes to the sacrifice of them, of their own, on the, of their own desire. So they prefer to see other people get better. Um, those people who are recognized as great, they impact other people's life. Those are people who are great because you can be famous just for now. A music can come and a musician is famous or an actor is famous. After that period, then what happened? You don't hear about those people. The great people are there forever. So I knew I was going to be great. I read a lot of books, a lot of books. So my ideology started changing, started changing. I just wanted to be that great. So my mindset was very different. That's why I say mindset is very powerful. So I knew I would be that great and not my environment, my disability was not even part of it will not limit me. My ability to do things will not limit me. My um, society rejecting me will not limit me. That instead empower me. To me, I look at it like if if they keep rejecting me or keep insulting me, that I'm different. So if I'm different, it means I have something that they are afraid of it. That that was how I look at it. I have something that will, will, will scare them away. How can I say? You know, sometimes, let me put it in a way that when you have, um, when people sometimes don't like you because they want to be like you and they cannot be like you. 
So the best ways to get angry. Look at it. Most people that you just see somebody and you hate the person for nothing. Most of the time, they admire your courage. They admire what you're doing. They admire your whatever you're doing. They just admire you. But because they cannot be like you, so the best way to go about it is just to get angry with you for nothing. And you're disturbing yourself. That why is that person angry for, for me? To from uh, why is that person getting angry? Because they cannot be like you. So I got that one since as a young person that people are. They don't, when someone just see me and just say she hate me or hate me, I know that they are afraid of what I have. So they want to be like me, but they cannot be like me. So the only way they wish they had what I have inside, so they cannot. So what I started, I started building myself, building myself in one way that I went to a boarding school, um, in lower seat. I, I started training myself because from in my house used to speak just pidgin english so i know i want to be great to pass my message i have to speak english i'm very well articulated so i stopped speaking pidgin english i didn't speak pidgin english for let me see lower seat up up seat university 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 like for eight to nine years is when i came to the united states i have this sister that was close to oh she don't allow me. She loved pidgin language. So that made me to start speaking pidgin. I wasn't speaking. So that way, for that long that I tried to start my, try to learn how to speak war. I tried to start writing war. There were many things I trained myself how to write. Because my handwriting, for example, was very bad. I trained myself um English. How to speak in good English. I trained myself how to write good English. I train myself, I practice myself in the mirror. I want to know better. I read a lot of books. I want to see people that have gone ahead of me and I read about what they did that made them that better. So I try to and I polish myself little by little. But I'm telling you that whatever you want, whatever you become is inside you. If only you know that whatever you want is inside you. When you build yourself up, you know when you build yourself you empower yourself how can i put it okay when you build yourself people are attracted to you that's why i say when you love yourself people will be saying wow the way the confidence that you have people want to have that confidence they know when you have that confidence it means there is something something that you have that is very admirable so that confidence of yourself will make you to discover your better self uh so i don't know what you have what you're depressed or so but whatever you want to become is inside you do not get distracted with that person we are all running our own race and our race are different stop competing stop comparing just run your race whatever you have you have something that your best need so take it and develop it and run with it and let god manifest when you become a better version of it People will pour to you. You don't need to be begging people. Please watch my video. Please come and buy my hair. Please come and buy my clothes. Please, when it's beautiful, other people will give reference to you. And they will say, wow, wow. And they will look for you. But if you're cooking, whatever you're doing, they will look for you. You don't need to look for them because you're doing it better. And most importantly, God will bless you. So our first um, the scripture comes from Second Peter 1-3 to that says, his divine power has given us everything we need for a godly life through our knowledge of him who called us by his own glory and goodness. So through the divine power, God has given us everything we need. He given us a godly life for our knowledge. He called us by his own glory and goodness. So my people, um, that was what I have today to share. If you have not given your life to Christ, um, because sometimes Jesus will help you to become a better person. Because the thing when you pray, you you when you begin to pray, God is going to open your eye to show you more better of who you are. So um, if those are not given, when you pray, you discover. The more you discover, the more you recover. Yeah, when you begin to pray, you discover. The more you discover, you recover. So sometimes if we don't pray. How can you pray that you don't know 
you have not made Jesus the Lord after your soul. So this morning, just say, Jesus, I thank you for my life. Make me a better person. Father God, I bless your name. For in Jesus' name we say thank you. Amen. Father, we bless your name. Oh, thank you very much. If you say that after me, do for a Bible-believing church and make Jesus the Lord after your life. Thank you very much. My name is Marindo. I come every day with little, 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 little. Little, 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 little scriptures. Pills, I call them pills. Thank you very much. You are wonderfully and beautifully made. Just say, I am wonderfully and beautifully made. I am wonderfully and beautifully made. Everything I have is in you. Everything I have is in you. Thank you very much. My window.